yo, what's going on YouTube? 6.5 Rider here, coming back to you with another, another product review, baby. All right, today we'll be talking about the cross thread cycles, mini floorboards that I have on my Softail Street Bob. We're actually gonna take this party and bring it back to the garage because you see those mean looking clouds up there. Yeah, it's raining and um, I don't feel like getting wet today, man. But this is actually a perfect example of why I like these, uh, these uh, cross thread cycle pegs. Regardless of how wet it gets, look at this, I'm trying to move my leg. My leg is not, you know, it's stuck there. And the reason is because of all these little spikes. We're going to park here in a second when we get to the house. And uh, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about because I'm getting rained on pretty badly right now. Once we hit the garage, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of do a, a deeper look and a deeper dive into uh, the cross thread cycles. We'll, we'll hit the website too and see uh, all the different colors and products that they do. All right, see y'all in the garage. Peace. That's right, we're back at the 6.5 garage, right here, mm-hmm. And uh, we're away from all this rain. I don't know if you guys can hear it. So anyway, we're talking about the cross-thread cycles, mini floorboards. I'm gonna put the name, the exact name of them, and the SKU number and the product ID, whatever, right here so you guys can see it, because I'm not sure what it is at this moment. All I know is it's the cross-thread cycles, mini floorboards and uh dude look at them they look so sick i actually brought one of my original oem harley pegs right here this is an old one that i've had and uh, i want to compare it i just want to show you guys the difference right when you're sitting just imagine having this guy right here right compared to this whole guy right there that's why they call it mini floorboards because you know, regular floorboards would probably go all the way up to back here. But with the mini ones, you'll see they're not that big, uh, but they also look cool as shit. So, you know, there's no comparison between the OEM pegs and the cross thread cycles pegs because these just look so cool. Um, as you can see, some of the features it has here, it allows you to basically kind of lift it up. So whenever you're scraping pegs or whatever, you know, they don't get stuck and you crash. <laughs> And so uh, as, as, as you're like uh, scraping pegs or whatever, it kind of goes up, you know, which is how you want it to be. Uh, I don't know if you can see here. Yeah, let's scrape pegs a couple of times. As you can see, it's like scratched right there. When I was just on the ride as it was uh, raining is the fact that uh, when you put your foot on it, because these little spikes right here are kind of, uh, you know, kind of, sticking out you see they're not sharp but they're like sticking out uh when it's raining on a day like today and you're riding your foot is not like going all over the place it's just stuck right there which is perfect because like you're not slipping you know during a snow uh, a rainstorm or whatever that's one really big feature that i like about this uh they have a lot of colors we'll jump on the computer and go on the website in a little bit to kind of show you guys what it looks like as you can see, I have it set up with my forward controls. You know, my mid controls used to be here, kind of moved it up. The install, I wish I had a video for it, but I don't. It took me like, I don't know, 15 minutes each side. So it wasn't, it wasn't hard at all. Let's go ahead and throw a leg over it really quickly. And I'm gonna throw a leg over this one right here. As you can see, like, of course, because I have a uh, 11 and a half shoe size, when I pull my leg here, you can't, you know, you can't see it, but for me, You'll see right here, you know, most of the middle of my foot right here is on the peg itself, which is perfect compared to like the OEM Harley. And it doesn't look out of place, especially with the way the bike looks with a full floorboard, basically. Uh, one, you know, negative about it is I can't be sitting here and taking pictures and kind of resting my foot on it without shoes because it hurts. And uh, yeah, that's a no from me. Because like I said, because of those spikes. I did have one negative about it, and it's not really a negative. I'm not sure, I'm not sure whether the main cause was the pegs or it was something else, but I used to have these pair of boots that uh, had rubber soles. And after a while I noticed 
the boots were really old too, so it probably has nothing to do with, with the packs, but I'm gonna tell the story anyway. Um, the boots, after a little while of always wearing them and riding the bike, I noticed that, um, you know, it was, it was scratching up the rubber in the soles at the bottom of the shoe. Um, so I don't know if it has anything to do with these because they're a little sharp or not, but, you know, I just wanted to mention that. Other than that, to be completely honest with you, I have no negative things to say about it. I love the way it looks. It comes in many different colors. And uh, you can also have different colors for the spikes themselves. I chose to go with the black because my bike is black and that's the look I was going for. Now let's jump over to the computer and uh, kind of show you guys what are all the different options. All right, so we're on the crossthreadcycle.com. Here's our website. And what you're gonna do is go to the M8 soft tail section. And you'll see that's the first option over here. Triple mount, mini floorboards in black. Um, at 169.99. So down here, you can actually see it. One thing I did forget to mention during the video is it actually has three mounting positions. So you can see it over here. Here's one, two, and three. You can either put it right in the center or push it forward a little bit or backwards a little bit. So just depending on how you want to do it. Um, if we'll scroll down a little bit, you'll see that these exact ones actually also fit as passenger uh, mini floorboards for the baggers. So for the touring models, if we uh, go back a little bit and scroll down, you'll see they have a lot of different colors and different options. And then also, if you're interested, if you go to the bagger section, you'll be able to see they also have it in full floorboards for the baggers uh which is starting at 239.99 great quality great company and uh it's definitely something that i'll i'll be putting on the road glide as well if you enjoyed this video uh don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys on the next one peace